Hi. Good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Summit day. Summit night. It is. It's midnight. Or no, it's 11 a.m. 11 p.m. <laughs> I just woke up. <laughs> you okay there, buddy? <laughs> we went to sleep about 7. And now it's 11 o'clock. And we're getting up and we're going to start for the summit at midnight. We're now in the tent layering up and I'm wearing this shirt today as one of my layers, Harvard Divinity, <sighs> because um, the, the day we got to Tanzania was the one year anniversary of my sister Melissa's death and um, that's really raw. I didn't think it would be, but um, I feel like when I learned a year ago that she'd passed away, there were so many things that I didn't realize that I wanted to say to her and all these memories that I'd hoped to have with her that I didn't get to have. And so I feel like remembering her is remembering that like the time to say what you want to say and be what you want to be and do what you want to do is right now. And so to remember her and to remember that, I'm bringing her with me up the mountain. I got this when I was visiting her when she taught at Harvard and she was she loved it there when she was teaching. She was so in her element. She was so happy there. So that's how I want to remember her. Why do you want to summit Kilimanjaro? I've always wanted to do this. Well, I guess I've wanted to do this for maybe five or seven years. And it's been one of those things because it's so mystical and beautiful and it's one of those things that you can point to if you want bragging rights. <laughs> it's not so much the bragging rights for me. It's about just being in the nature and being here and trying something completely outside of my comfort zone. I thought it was a once in a lifetime opportunity and I also didn't really think about it. I just said, sure. <laughs> but I've learned a lot about myself and our relationship and about you guys and I think I'm also impressed by how much I've done because I didn't think that for someone that doesn't exercise as much as this guy that I would be like yodeling all the way up <laughs> to this point. So, I guess for me, it started out when we read The Snows of Kilimanjaro in high school, and one of my friends and I kind of fell in love with the idea of coming up here. Um, she's really sick now and couldn't come, but I decided to come here anyway, and I guess what really galvanized me to do it was my boss said that there was no way in hell that I would make it to the top of Kilimanjaro. <laughs> so, I'm kind of here to prove him wrong, as much as to prove me right. <laughs> hip, hip! Hop, 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 hop! Hip, hip! Hop, hop, hop! Non-stop! Up to the top. Non-stop. Up to the top. One team. One dream. One dream. One dream. Yeah. I enjoy anything in the outdoors, hiking and adventure of all kinds. And what was it? A little over two years ago, um, Mariah and I were here together. We went to Zanzibar. But we flew past Kilimanjaro and the mountain looked amazing and I got to talk to people who had climbed it and it just sounded like a great adventure and Mariah said she wanted to do it and uh, she has a habit of making things happen and so here we are. It did seem just like an incredibly exotic, exciting, challenging adventure and I wanted to do something that would be hard but within reach. frozen. Oh my gosh, right? My fingers. I can't feel my fingers. Like five minutes How do away. you feel? Hey, amazing! <laughs> That's go what get, he said. Go get it, girl. <laughs> get mountain. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so good. You it's proved so them close. all wrong. <laughs> yeah. Hello, hello. So close, so close. Yeah. <laughs>
Na, sekanya. Lo va a ver, va va. We made it to the top of Kilimanjaro. <laughs> like, hold, I'm hoping I don't drop the camera because my fingers are real cold. <laughs> it was exhausting getting up here. It was probably one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life, and I'm not gonna lie, more than once I was like, how bad would it be if I just quit? Like, would I really regret it that much if I just turned around and went home? But we didn't quit, we made it. We're here. And it is beautiful. I can't believe it's to stand real. on top of Africa. <laughs> And we saw an amazing sunrise this morning. Probably the most amazing sunrise I've ever seen. And if I hold this out any longer, my fingers will literally freeze and the camera will fall. So, I love you. I love you too. Thanks for doing this with me. Yeah. And thanks for watching. So we can breathe again. Yeah, we're less sicky than we were on the top. So we, we hiked down a lot. I don't I don't remember how many feet. We can drink water and walk at the same time. That's how you know we're walk. in range to breathe. So you can walk and drink water at the same time. Mariah's lips got pretty sunburned. They're dead. No one's ever gonna want to kiss me again. She's wrong about that. No, my lips. <laughs> okay, no, so tell me about the summit so, experience now that it you... was very very difficult more so than i expected the uh the dinner of the night before kind of disagreed with me and started the argument about halfway up it was very difficult but i feel very accomplished for having done it in spite of like how difficult and like the aspects that were not fun. Also, we passed people that were way worse off than us, that who like their porters were dragging them up or other people were like throwing up on the trail and stuff. <laughs> I was walking along and I have a watch on and so I was I knew it would take six hours to get to the summit, so I was thinking like, oh, it must have been at least an hour and then I check eight minutes. <laughs> it just seemed like time went so so slowly <laughs> all night as we hiked. But we got up there and I shed a little tear or two seeing the sign because I was like, it's real, we really made it. Like, that's mm -hmm. an amazing, it really is an amazing accomplishment. It took work. And I, I felt really amazing about the fact that I was standing on the highest point in the entire continent of Africa. Yeah. That He's, was pretty cool. He said he could see the curvature of the earth on the horizon. I wasn't sure if I could or not. I think I could. <laughs> it's close enough. Once we got down from the summit to back to the base camp, they said, okay, so it's four hours to the next camp where we'll be sleeping for tonight. And we were like, oh. But we're here now. We're at the camp we're going to sleep at. We're here, and I'm blowing up an air mattress because it's we're, time for it. We're going to sleep. But all in all, we're glad we did it, right? Yes, we're it was very like, glad This trip has been like 95% giddy, adventure, amazing excitement, and 5% like horrible kick you in the pants. <laughs> like, yeah. this is so hard. <laughs> so, that's pretty good ratio, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good trip. For sure. <laughs> Sure, we were gonna make it all the way to the gate, <laughs> but here we are. We were sure we were gonna make it. <laughs>